watch it, he was like, he like, we have now, we now have the ability to control weather, man. Esau Ben had that technology, man. That shit that you, that these people, uh, that the leaks hand down to y'all, is old information, man. At least 10 years old, man. This, that the iPhone that we got, man, that shit is decades old, man. Esau got into the light thing, uh, arson, uh, uh, weaponry, man. He got laser cannons on the, one of the USSR uh, air carriers, man. When, when Esau finally bring out them damn weapons, man, that you see on them shows, proton lasers, rail guns, Star Wars, Star Wars weapons, man. He got a, he got this one fucking weapon I was looking at. It's called uh, a rail, it's called uh, Rods from God, and that shit uses kinetic energy uh, uh, from the atmosphere, man. Basically, it's big ass uh, metal rods that get shot down from uh, from, uh, from the heavens, all right. And, and and that shit just uses nothing but kinetic energy, meaning it don't it, it, it's, it's getting pushed by it just, it by itself, man, all right. And like I said, you got these real guns, plasma rays, shit that that cuts through uh that cut through metal like nothing, man. And there went out another horse that was red, and probably was given it to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. Yeah, that same sword when you go back to Genesis, uh, when Isaac blessed uh, Jacob and Esau, that's that sword that Esau got, which was uh, uh, his, his, basically that knowledge and understanding on how to create uh, death, man. Basically, Esau is death and uh, incarnation, man. He is death in the physical, man. Everything this motherfucker do is represents death, man. Smoking cigarettes, fucking smoking cigarettes, man, and uh, creating goddamn uh, bio, uh, biological uh, weapons, man. This motherfucker got the CDC over there just posted. Just got a, a, a shitload of viruses that just that's, that's frozen, man. And and when they get heat up, when, uh, when 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 heat touches that uh, the viruses, they get released, man. Cause that's how it works, man. You pro you uh, chrono, it's called chrono. Chronozone or something like that. Not chronozone, but uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When you when you uh, freeze something, oh, cryogenic, 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 man. Cryogenic. When you have like just like a chamber and it just like like the temperature is like below uh like negative fifty or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just nothing but frozen uh, things in there, man. Hey, he saw uh they dug up uh, bodies in France from the Black Death and all well, in Europe. Oh yeah. From the black, they got the black the Black Plague virus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it was a case of it broke out again in uh, uh what's that little island in the bottom of Africa? I'm trying to blank right now. Right to the east of Africa oh, way in Madagascar. Yeah, Madagascar. There was an outbreak in the Black Plague. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right here, Madagascar. That was just why Vice did it. It was a few years back. Vice went down there and did the documentary. To show how they were the Black Death. That, that could, you know, Esau got him some samples. Oh hell yeah. You know, he, he probably the one that released it. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. The yeah, little yeah. testing grounds. Oh yeah. And he saw another thing you saw do when he released them bacteria. He collect everything you saw do, he, he's collecting data on it, man. Information, man. So when he when he releases a virus, like say he releases a virus to a person, he's doing a study on it. How long does it take to destroy the uh, the immune system, break down the, uh, the uh, killer T cells and all that? He's looking at all that shit, man. What it does to the uh, the inside of the organs. Like effort, the the, uh, the body decays, the rigor mortis, the rigor, uh, how you say it, rigor, rigor mortis, you know what I'm saying? He's looking at all that shit, man. And he got uh, race specific biological weapons, too. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. The target is uh, certain DNA strands. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I say that on uh, Alex Jones. But that's what they say AIDS is. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. They say AIDS is uh, race specific, or well, race, uh, I forget that specific. I forget the word. Yeah, I mean, he's a mad scientist. What's uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth's husband, Prince? Uh, Prince, uh, no, Prince Charles, not Prince Charles, Prince fucking faggot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That old bastard, I can't remember his name right now. That's, that's a damn shame. He said he wish he could be re. He said when he dies, he hope he's reincarnated as a virus to take out the, the, all the population of the earth. Damn. Yeah, that's the Esau is a. He's, He's a, he's a psychopath. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's the spirit inside of him. That's how we know who's who, man. That's how we know a damn Edomite, man. It's just, he just want nothing but damn death, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people, you, you white people are evil as hell, man. Yeah. All right? And I talk about our Ock right here, our brother right here, man. You got to throw different spirit. Yeah, he ain't Edomite, man. Because, yeah, like, you know, you got, well, but he's white, too, man. You don't, you don't understand the confusion. Faces, man. Yeah. It's like just like Bruce Lee when you watch the damn channel, it's, it's damn uh, old movies. Man, you think if you think that's a damn goop, man, you out your goddamn mind, man. Bruce Lee had hella flavor, man. Oh, God. Just yeah. like uh, just like Eminem. Yeah, oh yeah, hell yeah, yeah, man. Hey, that's my cousin. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you watch the movie Eight Mile, he lived. 
his life was like a regular Jake, man. Yeah. He was, he, like, that was like the curse. He was going through the fucking curses on that movie, man. Yeah, Mac yeah he Miller. ain't have his dad. He said, what? Well, Mac Miller. Hey, Mac, Mac Miller. Oh, Mac Miller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jake, though. He got yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. All them rappers. Yeah, hell yeah, man. No, uh, I ain't going to lie to you. What's the other dude's name starting? Ill? Mac, Mac Lamour or something like that? Oh, uh, that, that, that dude ain't a Jake, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get that vibe from him. I, I never fuck with him. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that vibe. My boy had a good one. Your boy, uh, Post Malone. Post Malone. You no, know, Post Malone. Yeah, I ain't even doing him. Yeah, what's that? Congratulations. Yeah. He ain't too fresh with it, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I know yeah, Iggy, that was a hit. Iggy Azalea, that, that bitch is a nigga woman. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about Riff Rap. Yeah, I, no, no. Riff, Riff Rap, Riff, Rap he oh, might be a fool. Yeah, yeah. He ain't got heat. Oh, no, you might be a Jake. I only Jake it. That's a Jeremiah 422. Yeah, that's a Jake, man. Hell yeah, he's, he's too stupid. He's got braids all types. That's like this dude was a Jake, man. Uh, good, a real good example, though, is Paul Wall for the longest. Oh, I, hell yeah. I didn't even know Paul Wall was a white dude. I, I didn't either. I thought he was light skinned. Hell so. yeah, man. I, th I thought he was, a, I thought he was a, literally a Jake, man. You know what I mean? Like, this, this dude, this dude uh, uh, came, damn near came out with the. Uh, the uh, the, the, the whole he had a yeah, yeah, he had a big he had a big uh, uh, contribution to the to the southern uh, uh, rap culture yeah, yeah. yeah man he uh, he makes uh, custom grills oh yeah yo, yo. Uh, he, he made purple drink pop <laughs> purple drink <laughs> you know how much that shit costs man, what? that says a thousand dollars like so a thousand two thousand dollars a bottle yeah for the good stuff yeah. And then it's good, they got that codeine in it. And they drink a bottle a day. The Jolly Ranchers took a bottle. That's what's good. You got it. You got it. You got it. No. Yeah, this Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that set their rent to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Hey, that's true, though. You see, there ain't no peace on the earth. Peace has been taken from the earth. You know what I mean? Well, we just got done with the 20th century. Which was, but there was more death and bloodshed in the 20th century than the whole history of mankind put together. You know, World War II, how many people died in World War II? Probably damn near a billion people. I know the Russians lost like, it was crazy. They lost like 100 million, 80 million, something crazy. <laughs> Uh, the Stalin uh, murder, uh, uh, 60 million Christians. I mean, there's just millions and millions of people dying in World War II. That was the bloodiest shit in the history of man. That was that happened in recent times. You know what I mean? Hey, and, that, and that's mainly why North Korea is keeping the loops, man. Because they know America, which is the so-called white man Esau, man, he come with death, man. He come with confusion, man. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna try to overtake his land, overtake his people, and invade him just like they did Afghanistan. Same thing they did with Iraq. You know what I'm saying? He not stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? He ain't doing nothing for protecting his people, man, but of course that make him look like he a bad guy. Yeah, cause, yep. Cause North Korea and Iran's like the two last strongholds. 80 million just in Russia, huh? They don't even, it's so many they don't even know. They, they, they just don't know. That's a lot of people that die, you know what I mean? Yeah, cause I, if I can say something too, what you said about the uh, the, uh, the North Korea, that, that like the brother in London, he went into it. That they the reason why they battling over North Korea so damn much is because it's it's strategic warfare, man. Like remember we, that remember that little game, the battleship game, about uh, yeah battlefield. You had the uh, or battleship, and you had to move the piece and then put the piece on the other board. That's how it works on a global scale, man. Esau is, is strategically moving uh, his military and strategic positions to get uh, the, uh, the upper hand on, on, on people, so to speak. What's that? I want to say also North Korea, it's like, I think they're like, they're, that's a, in that area, it's like, uh, I want to say like one of the very few places in the world that actually produces tungsten. Tungsten is a material that's basically, uh, it's a uh, fireproof to like all the nuclear chemicals inside the weapons and shit like that, and they produce a large amount of that. Oh, hell no, they want them uh, rare minerals, so rare, earth, rare earth minerals. Yeah. That's one of the reasons they in Afghanistan, they're for the lithium. Yeah, Afghanistan has a, they need that for the, uh, all these phones, batteries. So, yeah, because they got to control the whole earth. Yeah. Yeah. North Korea and Iran is like the two last holdouts. Well, Syria too, you know what I mean? Esau don't conquer the rest of the world. So he ain't really got a few nations left to conquer. North Korea, I mean, he ain't going, he ain't going to conquer. Right, that's the whole, the whole house of Esau. Because Russia don't be the white too. You know what I'm saying? So they, they, they got power too, man. And Moab is hand in hand with Esau, so, you know, at this point in time. But at the end of the day, that's not the prophecy that has been man. Esau is going to be fought down. The Lord gave Russia a special blessing.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the shoot those missiles. <laughs> yeah, God. Destroyed by his own destruction. And say and that they will well, kill one another. And it was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. It looks like Gandalf. And I beheld and lo a black sword. horse. Wait, so we have a sword in, in the hand. Is this spew magic? Come on, you got to be on the side. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Hold on, come here. Let me ask you one question. Come here. What, 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 what color is Jesus? You believe in Jesus? If I had to say Jesus was the color, it's probably Arab. That's not a color. So it's not you, you. When you, when you get a crayon box, you got a crayon called Arab? No, it, would, it would be like tan. What scripture say that uh, Jesus was there? It would be tan. Okay, what color is tan? Is it deriv and it's derivative of brown, right? Yeah. Exactly. All right, so now let's, let's, let's take your own words and use you, you say you tan, right? Now, if you take tan and you... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, don't get them okay, right? If you take tan and throw it in the furnace, what color would it come out? Ah, I'm not talking. I'm saying if he was a color, it would be... Black. Dark skin. Not black. <laughs> He, the Lord, the one you call Jesus is a big, strong, angry, angry black man. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm angry for, and it's in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. The scriptures tell you that this description don't match nothing in the Bible. It ain't even, it's not even close. Look at what the Bible says. It's a good word. It's like a lot of the ones. Where is that? Where? 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 Please. Yeah, scriptures, please. Like, you yeah, give us the give, 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 give us the, give us the, give us the chapter and the verse. And the law says, let there be no whores in the doubt of Israel. Do you, exactly. You don't, you don't the Bible or they're not numerous. You're a contradiction. No, 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 no. Two feet is a contradiction. When humans appeared about 300,000 years ago, where was Jesus? 300,000 years ago? Where, how, where's that source? How can you prove that? And humans just appeared 300,000 years ago? Well, actually before that, but I'm just saying like, into that. Can you prove that? Oh yeah. How can you prove that? Fossils. Don't say carbon date. <laughs> Don't say, say carbon date. What fossils? Name, name a fossil. Right. Give so, me the name. In your world, do Neanderthals exist? No. Oh, praise so to the most high. Right, so, man. So, so, give me a name, a date. Uh, 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 source. This revelation. You don't know nothing. Yeah. Do um do the Denisovans exist? These are different people. In fact, you, they used to be different types of people, different nations, different no, the, people. The more important thing is that are you know you know are you familiar with the Edomites? I mean, I just want to know. Yeah, do the Edomites exist? Yeah, man, get on that. Yeah, do the Edomites exist? Hey, you talking to me? You never heard of Edomites? You talk all these Neanderthal, Denisovans, but you don't know about Esau. Right. This Revelation, oh, chapter 12, wait, chapter 1, verse 13, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one unto like the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot. Hey, hey, listen, this is talking about the one you call Jesus. Listen, I'm going to tell you straight up, that does not exist. And girt about the patch with a gold girdle. His head and his hair were white like wool. He said the Lord's head and hair was white like wool. As white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes were a flame of fire. And his feet was in, in some fine grass as if they burnt in a furnace. And his voice was the sound of the water. Hey, so, hey, man, fuck these devils at the end of the day, man. Fuck Esau, man. Hey, this is the description of the Heavenly Father, man. Period, man. Does say, does say the scriptures, man. I this can't be game. This can't be game. Sarah resisted, man. So when people like, turn it around, huh? yeah, turn it around. Huh? So when people got got their face all squared up at this bank, give me a scripture where it say it look like that. Man. Hold it up, hold man, so they can so them devils can see it. Yeah, for everybody to yeah, fucking man. see if this if this is a problem. Tell me where this is biblical, man. Yeah. If I can say something yeah. to watch, see. That's the thing about Esau, man. He didn't say all all day that that ain't real. But then, meanwhile, you okay? But all right, how do you, how can you prove that? He's like, well, we weren't around. You wasn't you wasn't around when World War II happened. So how you know that exists? You you you, you believe in that because you was taught in in school, all right? So just like you believe in World War II, even though that that did happen, but Esau believed in things that he wasn't there to see, so to speak, man. Just like we wasn't there to see uh 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 uh, uh, uh World War One, World War Two. We believe in it, right? Yeah, I'm gonna elaborate on theory. Serious faith, man. Hey. Like on top of that, like they all, I hate like, they might be believing in like 
Charles Darwin's theories and shit like that. They don't know that he came up with most of his theories taking bass and opium and shit. Come on, man. He was higher. Charles. Did he stop that shit in his deathbed? Yeah, Charles Darwin didn't even believe in his own shit. Exactly. And it, like you said, it's a theory. And, and if I might add, he wasn't there when his mom and his dad fucked and had him. Yeah. How, how you know he? Was, how you know them his parents? How you know that he was even born? I'm just, I'm just being facetious, yeah. man. Go ahead. Right. So that all. Way, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Evolution. Yeah. Yeah. Right, uh, second Peter, part three and eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing: that one day is with, with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as as one day. All right. So you know, as far as like uh, you know, like time in general, or you know, like a lot of you know these like Egyptologists and all that, they go into like you know that carbon dating and all that. They think they think that they have like the. Um, like, there's not only the utensils necessary, but the uh, perception, like, necessary in order to, like, uh, gauge time, like, uh, gauge time, ages, like, things of that nature. All right, but, uh, you know, that, that, that's part of that, uh, you know, that, that deep knowledge that hasn't been, like, revealed to us, you know, 100% and all that. Or, uh, you know, as far as, you know, like, uh, you know, minutes, years, you know, things like that. Right? That's why the Lord is called like the like, age of the day. You know, he's beyond that concept in general, but you know, you know, his uh, perception and control of it, or you know, his own, uh, you know, it's like a lot different. Like, you know, talk about, you know, millions of years ago, you know, 300,000 years ago. You know, I got another good point too. They always talk about evolution. And how can when you look at the historical record, right? And you go look writing, mathematics, pottery, artwork, blacksmith, religion, blacksmithing, metalworking, all appeared at the same time out of nowhere. When you look at the record, agriculture, all these things, domestication of animals, and the alphabet writing, everything just appeared out of nowhere in the Middle East at the same time, in a fertile crescent. All just appeared practically overnight, you know what I mean, all at the same time. Now how did they explain that? wasn't no evolution there. They just, one day, people was just writing, doing math, you know what I mean, just out of nowhere. The Tower of Babel. Like, yep. uh, certain insects, they can't like science for one. They have, they have not, they have yet to explain the evolution of or see one animal change to another animal. They don't have any account for that yet. And, and oh, yeah. They can't explain the evolution of the butterfly. When the butterfly is in the cocoon, it completely dematerializes and turns into cook. Oh yeah. When, yeah, it yeah. Turns, when the caterpillar is in the cocoon, it completely dematerializes and turns into cook. Yeah, beautiful. And becomes a butterfly. Yeah, they can't beautiful. explain that. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful point, man. That's evolution. That's a a, a, a very good uh, example of evolution, man. A hot sun that evolves from very sun, very different. It's a sun totally different. Yeah, it, it, there's like a certain word. I think it's yeah, they, they, they have no. Yeah, they never have proof that it's right. They have no proof that. Yeah, they, they never show missing like the missing link. We humans. They never. That's why they got something called a missing link. They trying to link man with a uh, 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 ape called Lucy or something. It, you know what I mean? It's like y'all can then meanwhile you read the scriptures. The Lord said He created uh, 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 the, the man, and then He said He created uh, the beast that part the hook. And, and the Lord clearly made a separation of beast and man, no, man. No, no, no. Ain't no such thing as no goddamn uh, like what's that thing uh, on Mortal Kombat that was half horse? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in the front of Yeah, he wrote. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's he wrote? <laughs> his name, that's a Minotaur, I forget his name. Yeah, well, hey, what was his name with Mortal Kombat? Yeah, Matara. Yeah, yeah. 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 he got some skill. Yeah, man, you gotta. Hey, it's like that. We're just talking about it. Hey, that's a spirit hug. We're gonna be doing fatalities on these things. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Look at that power line of creative deaths. They're gonna come out talking about some evolution. Bro, we're gonna rip out that spine. You know what I'm saying? Right there, right there. You know, turn to a dragon. Bite your head off. Bite your head off. Yeah, what? Luke Cage. Yeah, dude, I'll hit your ass with a bicycle kick. Yeah, dude, hit with a hot dude. I don't know what you're doing. I get you in that right spirit. Worship about that. Worship about that. That's the spirit we get now. Hey, we should get that back in that uh, uh, Revelation uh, 2 and 26. We never got it. That's going to beat like, the shit out of these heels. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Revelation 2 and 26. 
and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. It said, he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. Keeping the works meaning doing this work right here. Coming out on the highways and byways, teaching his gospel. Go ahead. To him will I give power over the nations. To him, so to, to, to him will I give power over the nations. Meaning the people out here doing the work, which is the elect. And we, the Lord gonna give, hey, so, so I, uh, hey brother, so somebody give me Matthew 19. It's like at the end of Matthew 19, something like that. I think it's 19. Goes into the how we are gonna rule in the kingdom. Read that for last part again. To him will I give power over the nations. Keep going. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to ship. And this proves too that the Lord didn't come to save all nations. Because it said in the kingdom, that he's going to give us, the Israelites, power over all nations. Which clearly proves the Lord's only dealing with one nation of people. And that's the Israelites. And we're going to get power over the nations. And it said we're going to rule them with a rod of iron. Okay? And we're going to rule these nations with a rod of iron. They're going to be following the laws of this Bible. They're going to be following the laws of the Muhammad. Okay, we're going to be following the laws of the Bible. Not no bootlegged uh, Muhammad. No bootlegged Bible in the Quran. But it, the Muslims think they go hard. They don't go hard. They're, they're weak. You don't want to see no Muslims out here teaching, teaching on the Quran. They ain't uploading no videos. They ain't spreading shit for ignorance. Execution video. Yeah, execute the video. Y'all saying that the closest thing they do to doing they work is running to your car with bean pods, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, <laughs> I hate the motherfuckers, man. I don't man. know. You got to be, hey, because they say it's a difference between nation and Islam and Muslim. Yeah, well, man. There's, a, there's a big difference because nation and Islam go into the, the two-headed scientist, Yaku, and they say that they, uh, the Israelites are white people. Y'all know that, right? That's what the nation of Islam teaches. They teach that the Esau is a black man. The Israelites. Oh, yeah, yeah. They'll say Moses was a black man that uh, that civilized the white people who were Israelites. I got the book in my house that teaches the teachings of Elijah Muhammad. That's one of the Egypt shit. It's bugged out, bro. That's a bugged out. They said uh, Jacob was a two-headed scientist that lived on the Isle of Patmos. That's, just, that's bug. And he said he created the, the Israelites. It's bugged out. If yeah, you believe that shit, man, you, you already know. Uh, work. Matthew 19 to 28. It says, Yahweh Shah said it to them. Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Yeah, listen, ye that follow me in the regeneration, which means reincarnation, it's to be reborn again. Yeah, read that again. It says, Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in a regeneration when the son of man shall sit in the throne of his glory he also shall sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel hey that's proven again what it's all about Israel the Lord is only dealing with Israel and say he that keeping my works unto the end or something like that in the kingdom of heaven in the regeneration he said when the son of man sit on his throne that ain't the son of man ain't sitting on his throne right now. That ain't happened yet. So we know that regeneration means inner reincarnation. So the brothers who was doing the work, we're going to be sitting on thrones judging Israel. That's the elect. That's 144,000. You know I mean? That governing body. Go ahead. And it say, and everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit Everlasting life. Yeah, that's everlasting life. We mean the kingdom of everlasting life. Okay, and all these scoffers, they're going to get everlasting shame and contempt. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But like, you got to forsake everything to do this work. If your family gets in your way, fuck it. it this doing this work comes before your family. It comes before your loud ass, uh, loud mouth wife. Okay? <laughs> it comes before your disobedient children. Like, I love my children to come up here today. You know what I mean? Hey, I, I gotta take care of some grown folks stuff. You know what I mean? So I could I could be at home right now with my family. We're doing this work. You know what I mean? Because when you come out here and do this truth, especially young brothers, you might have a woman. But once she finds out what you're doing, she might leave you. Or she'll she might make give you a dilemma, be like, you gotta choose me or that, uh, or that Bible. 
for that yeah. Israelite. That's a good day. Hey, that, that's when you gladly show the door, man. Right. That's yeah. when that bitch up and right. Don't let the door yeah, yeah, Don't let the door Because <laughs> yeah, I think more brothers don't follow the truth because of a woman than anything else. Yeah. That's always the main thing. So that's why you know it's important to talk about that. It's all right. There's plenty of women out there, good looking ones too. That's fine. A fine. A dying piece ain't hard to find. There, there are plenty of them. So all these women is all replacing. Hey, hey, that's hey, that's the spirit because it's all like they all replace them. They put that wicked vibration, you know, uh, that fucking that, that song by uh, like Beyonce. Yeah, oh, I hate that. that song. What's that one song? Uh, uh, that you got a lead. Like all of her songs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah all her songs. Song. Irreplaceable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, irreplaceable. Okay. I ain't heard it all, but I've heard some of that shit. That's some wicked, <laughs> that's some wicked ass music, man. Talk about to the left, to the left. Yeah, that's right, yeah, shut your ass up. That's an evil, evil, that Beyonce is an evil music. Right, Always encouraging adultery. Hell, yeah, yeah, he got to get his car key. Like, yeah, man. Out of here. You call a cab. Man, what? what the fuck out of here? That hey. shit ain't going on. Hey, man, I hope Laura leave Beyonce to me. I'll put that hey. bitch to death. Let's go, man. And at the same Damn, time, man. she claiming to be married, talking all this madness. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that ain't right. And Esau, Esau used uh, Beyonce to put a heavy uh, a demonic spell on our women, man. Yeah. That that uh, that black yeah, that black woman is God, and I'm yeah. I, I'm I'm a proud black woman. And then meanwhile, they got this bitch uh, had.